Got a solid poo with a sausage look. Then we've got a very interesting topic. I always talk about these with my family, and I'm sure everybody else does. Every time you go to the toilet, you come out and how was your poo? That's this. This is the conversation every day that I have with my kids, I have with my partner. How was the poo? How did it look like? Did it come out easy? <laughs> did it come out hard? So let's actually. <laughs> Let's actually talk about how and what does the poo actually means. We all talk about this, but I don't think we kind of understand what the poo and how important the poo actually is. It is extremely important. And I think I said actually quite a lot of time. But anyway, so if you a few months ago I had a trip to the emergency department with my daughter. It was very very amazing, exciting ride a ride in the uh, ambulance. <laughs> she was, it's not funny, but it's funny for me now, but at the time it was scary. <laughs> she was in complete pain for weeks. Uh, and not of the sort of like pain that you will go to emergency room, but she was just in the pain that, she was in the pain that you need to go to the emergency room, but she was sort of in the pain uh, that it was just constantly there, like, you know, just something that annoys you, something that just doesn't let it go. Um, that, we went to the doctor and the doctor said, <laughs> Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Anyway, we went to the doctors and the doctor said she's constipated. She just needs to have more fiber. She needs to have more water, which obviously me being good mom and being Russian. So I started giving her some soup and loads of water, loads and loads of vegetables. Um, even though, bear in mind, she is an amazing eater. She eats, she pretty much eats just berries. She is really, really good with her vegetables. Um, there is no complaint about her eating whatsoever. It took about a week for us to go through all of the um, extra fiber, everything to give her um, to push the poo out. That didn't work at all. So it came actually to the point where she was not walking around at school and was constantly in pain. So it's important that she actually woken up during the night and she was crying because her belly was very sore, to which I took her to the toilet, obviously, and she did a poo. Um, very, very difficult poo, so it couldn't come through, so obviously it was a constipation. However, I took, uh, went to the doctors, we got back to the doctors and they said, oh, the same thing pretty much. And they advised us to just go to the emergency, just go, because they really didn't want to deal with this. So we went to the emergency room and the woman there, she was uh, really asking about the poo. She was so interested in her poo. Because my daughter's like six, so I don't normally go to the toilet to actually check on her poo constantly. So. And she was embarrassed and kind of shy to actually discuss that as well. Doctor, she explained a few little tricks and tips and which I would like to share with you in that video. So uh, there are basically four criteria for the poo and some, uh, some of the hints that mean that you really should go and check with the doctor. So, oh well, yeah, anyway, get back to my daughter's um, an emergency and ambulance ride. So after the doctor's visit, after the emergency room visit, um, they told us to go back home and, um, you know, increase the fiber. That's all they said. That's fantastic. We go back home. And at some point, my daughter just was crying, screaming in pain and I was going in tonight and I didn't want to leave it all the doctors were closed already all the pharmacies obviously closed um, and the pharmacy I couldn't give her anything so we called the ambulance and the ambulance came um, and while the ambulance was in the way she um, she went to the toilet and she did a really big poo and me being already um, already coming from the hospital I knew that oh, they're going to ask me about their poo that's the conversation I'm gonna have so I took pictures of the poo I'm not gonna post it <laughs> and when they came in so obviously I showed the poo straight away and I, th that was the first question yes um, so I showed the poo and they took us to the um, emergency room just because when they were there, here uh, she was 
crying and screaming and it was really scary because I couldn't help this is the worst when your child is um, crying for help but you can't do anything that was a very scary moment however um, after this after her poo I kind of it took her about two weeks and I'll tell you in the probably in a different video how I actually fixed it up but in this video I would like to show you I'm not sure I'm not gonna show you the poo the questions that I had at the hospital um, about the poo was the first one was um, how did it look like how did the poo actually look apparently there are, I had no idea but apparently there are seven um, like images for the poo there's a poo chart all right I just realized that the video I just took is actually wiped out what a shame I thought it was a very, very good video. So let's do this again. We've got uh, three criteria we're going to talk about. The first one is the shape of the poo. So apparently there are seven different types of um, a poo. So the first one we're talking about is almost like a golf ball, a golf ball poo. That means you extremely dehydrated and constipated. I had a blank for a second. So anyway, and you really, really constipated. So. I'm not going to say what exactly you need to do to fix it up. Just give me a second. All right, still recording. I just do want to talk about the poo without being recorded. So anyway, so the first one is extremely dehydrated and constipated where the poo looks like a golf balls um, and really hard to pass. So I would actually suggest that it's probably really, really painful to be in a toilet for that poo. So the second one is um, a sausage looking poo, but it's got lumps all over it. So it's pretty much um, like the previous poo, but has got more of the um, solid poo with a sausage look. Anyway, so that's the second one. The third type of poo we've got is getting very smooth, but still some sort of lumpy, lumpy-ish poo but it, you can definitely see the sausage like and it is almost perfect poo so the um the perfect poo is the one that is extremely smooth and a sausage so just imagine sausage and now what you're going to see in the toilet that's right so the next poo where we're going is um the poo that it's like a breaking down sausage. It's a bit too soft to actually keep the shape, but it's kind of like still there, but it's kind of breaking down. Yeah? It's just almost melting ice cream. Not quite, but kind of soft, soft ice cream. That's the one. Yes, the soft ice cream. You know the McDonald's one? The soft, serve, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, so that's, that's the consistency of the poo. So, so these, yeah, so that's the consistency of the poo. So then we're going, we're dropping down into the diarrhea kind of consistency poo where it becomes almost a liquidy and you definitely need to stay hydrated and you need to go to see a doctor um, if it continues for more than three days. Because that means you might actually be poisoned and stuff and just watch out for the, for the kind of poos. It's either extreme where it's constipated and it could turn into something really horrible um, as well. Or you, uh, it's a diary and you totally dehydrated. So the second thing to watch out with your poos as well is the color. I did um, the doctor at the hospital did ask me about the color, what sort of color that was. So the best, the most perfect color to have with your poo is anything brown shape shade. Fifty shades of brown. Fifty shades of brown. So anywhere from the light brown over to the dark brown color or the green, because we um, when you eat a lot of uh, fiber and uh, green vegetables, your poo does turn into a little bit of greenish. Um, but also just a little thing: uh, if we're talking about the kids' uh, poo or even at adults, um, when we go to the birthday parties for kids, I'm guilty. Um, sometimes we have treats. And when we do have traits, then we might experience some color in the poo. So anyway, so um, the best color possible for the poo is anywhere from the light brown to dark brown and greenish color. 
Then we go into a red, which is kind of possible if you have some beetroot, but you still have to watch out for a blood in there. Um, so the red would mean there is a blood, uh, that it's a blood in there, or you just had a beetroot, or some colored candy, um, or um, it's black. That means the blood has been oxidized, and you might you might have some sort of ulcers, which is pain. Watch out for this. Watch out for lots of signs because the book can tell you so much about your health. Um, so the next thing is um, the next color to really watch out. And I did see um, the next well, uh, color to watch out is um, something pale. It almost looks like a f undigested fat. Um, it's very strange, but you can definitely see that the color is not normal. Um, if that's your child, watch out for the signs. Um, you probably go or should go to see the doctor because there is definitely some, some sort of intolerance or some sort of indigestion problem with the child. If you're an adult and you know that you had some fat food or something, you can expect to have some sort of like a lighter color um, poo. Um, so just watch out what you had before and um, if it's consistent, you can try to uh, change your diet a little bit. But if it does persist, then I should I should go and see the doctor. Definitely. All right, the, um, the third criteria for the poos. Poo criteria, I love it. Uh, the third <laughs> criteria for the poo is floaty or the sinky. So we want the sink, the sinky one. We want the poo to be down at the bottom. We don't want it to float. So with the floaty and the sinky, if um, if we're talking about the child here, um, and if your child has, if you're changing the nappy and it's very hard to wipe the uh, poo off, um, it's almost almost like a gluey um, texture. Um, then I definitely take the child to the doctor uh, because normally kids don't have that much fat in their diet anyway. So there's some sort of indigestion problem, as I said before. And if we're talking about the adult and you see in the toilet that your poo sings down, then I wouldn't worry much as long as the, it's all good color and everything. But if your poo constantly, um, constantly um, floats, then I would definitely go and see the doctor. Or I would probably change some diet, make some changes in my diet first. But then I will definitely go and see the doctor because um, there might be um, intolerance to something or some sort of disease that you probably should address. All right, well, thank you so much for listening to me talking about the poo. And I really love sharing the story about my daughter's um, an exciting ambulance ride. If you liked that video and you think you would like to see more of me talking about the poo, <laughs> if you like that video, do not forget to do the thumbs and um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more about more tips about the parent who parenting and living in the city and we love outdoors all right anyway um, I gotta go um, see you later